Hey there guys, I am Mouse and welcome back to Project Cars. So I'm very excited about the new headset that I've got. I hope this is actually going to improve the quality of the video and the audio. But do let me know if there's some still some issues on that. And today it seems like the lineup is going to be mostly the Audis. And this little one as well, the BAC Mono, we'll see if we can get to that one. I've also decided that I'm going to try and get the videos a little bit shorter, because I think it might be a little bit boring if they are actually too long. And I've left the damage on, but one thing that I didn't realize before was I actually didn't have the traction control off. That's why we were struggling so much with the donuts and the drifting. So I've turned on the traction control for, at this point and we'll see what happens. So first up is this uh, Audi R18 TDI. Looks like a Le Mans kind of car. Still on Donington Park. Ouch. Come on, that's unfair. I didn't even do anything yet. Crashing into the walls. Come on. So let's see how this thing goes. Sounds interesting. Oh, and you can hear that turbo going there as well. Let's have another s listen to that. Oh yeah. This car really does feel a lot more grounded. As you would expect from a Le Mans car. So let's have a look here. Uh, acceleration is brilliant. Uh, almost lost it there. Braking is also pretty good. Not bad at all. But the handling is amazing. Yeah, twitchy. Right. Let's see what we can do through this chicane. Oh, well, traction control makes a big difference. There we go. Let's see what we can do. Oh, okay, I was a bit too fast for that corner. Let's try this uh, next one. This, really, this car really does feel a lot better than the previous ones we've had so far. Oh, ouch. All right. Traction control makes a big difference. I'm not really expecting that. So, something to get used to. Let's give it a one more quick try. Let's see what this thing sounds like from the outside as well. Well, I done goofed on that one. Come on, get to the track. There we go. And I lost it. We were starting to get some nice drifting through there. But... Ouch. That does not look good. Let's give it one more try. Oh, steering is gone now. But this car does sound nice from the outside as well. Let's see. Oops. Okay, that was a bit too much. And I'm just breaking all kinds of stuff on this car at the moment. Oh, 
Yeah, it's a little bit better, but not quite there yet. Sounds very nice. But let's have a look at the next one. Right, so next up is the R8 LMS Ultra. I believe this car should be quite fun around the track as well. Let's see what it does. Wow, this car sounds very interesting from the outside. So at least we didn't hit the wall this time. Oh, very nice from the start. Really starting to wind on those higher revs. Handling definitely also feels good. A little bit twitchy here and there, but overall I would say good. Feels grounded. Yeah, and we lost it. Irony! It's just so amazing how this game can make the sound different and make make it sound so wonderful between the outside and the inside of the car. Let's see what we can do in this chicane. Uh. Alright, so I need to need to practice a bit on that twitch coming back from the drift. Even inside the car it also sounds good. Really have to be mindful on that traction control now actually. Cannot just floor it out of the corners. Otherwise it's gonna step out and go off into some other direction. Let's have another look. Brakes are also good on this one. Not too bad. Definitely I would say these cars are more likely to be very good for the tracks. Irony. Oh crap. So we'll see what happens in the coming cars as well. So unfortunately I've bumped this car quite a bit now and as you can see it does not look good. But actually I must admit looking at this at the moment the graphics and detail on the damage is actually pretty good. You can see the bonnet dented lights broken the lip in the front scratched and dented as well so it does look nice on some of the cars but I believe what we had on the aerial atom was just because there wasn't too much bodywork on it so let's have a look at the next car then right so next up it's a more road car than anything else it's just a normal R8 V10 plus Let's have a quick look and see how this thing fares. Right, so now we've got the normal V8, uh, V10, sorry. And as you would expect, it does sound nice. Handling is not as great as the LMS version of it. It does feel a bit sloppy on the steering. Also loose and struggling. Oh. Wow, alright, so this thing does not handle that great compared to the LMS. But I suppose you cannot really expect it to be as good. Let's see what the inside looks like. And I clip the grass. It's 
have another look at this. Getting better at drifting actually. I think it's maybe because it's got a little bit less power than its bigger cousins. And I believe the R8 is also four wheel drive, which can make it a bit more easier. So acceleration is pretty good, not bad at all. Braking feels a little bit twitchy, sliding, and of course handling not all that great. kept that one quite well up until the right end so not getting there getting there but overall I would say this car is not really that great for the track but let's see how the next one does Right, so next up we've got the BAC Mono. I have never heard of this car before actually, so I've got no idea what to expect. But let's have a look and see. Whoa! Alright, so very twitchy on the acceleration there. But that's just because the tires are still cold. And I'm off the track already. Very interesting cluster and steering wheel that it's got still in fourth gear trying to spin out so I believe this has got a lot of power The steering on this one also feels a little bit loose and as soon as you start turning into the corner you can feel a little bit of resistance but not that much. So let's see now the tires are a bit warmed up, let's see what it does. quite twitchy on the acceleration so I have to be careful for that braking is not too bad uh, handling is not 100% there but also not too bad let's see how this car sounds from the outside Almost lost it there. Although I did go off the track. As 
so getting out of the corner in third gear just punching it causes the back end to step out so this thing does not want to sit still and let you have some fun it's actually going to be brutal on you does sound nice from the outside let's have another look here So the throttle is very responsive on this car actually, it's very, very sensitive. So as you can see this car is very eager to get those donuts in and that's it for this episode so I'm also going to try and get some better editing on these videos make them a little bit more interesting still trying to learn all that whole process but I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time bye